Troy Herdebees, the Hamilton-born inventor who became famous for his bear protection suit, has now created another suit that he hopes will soon be protecting Canadian soldiers in Afghanistan and U.S. soldiers in Iraq. He has spent two years and $15,000 designing a lightweight and what he says is a more affordable shell to stave off bullets, explosives, knives, and clubs. He calls it the Trojan. My name is uh, Troy Hirschbees, and um, this is the Trojan, the first ballistic full exoskeleton bodysuit of armor. This came from 20 years of development through uh, the bear suits and about 1,750 uh, hours of actual uh, building time. Yeah. And it came from so many calls I got from friends of mine in Iraq and in Afghanistan. My brother was in the military talking about, is there, can you not go in the direction that we need, which is, you know, against the IEDs, improvised uh, explosive devices, yeah. and, and, you know, build it to the point where you've got the flexibility, the lightness, but with the strength of, of what the bear suits were, and that's where, that's where this came from. Well, I went back to my earlier designs. Uh, I did look at Star Wars. Uh, I looked at Halo, the uh, video game. Uh, and then I start talking to um, the professionals in the field, um, United States Rangers, Green Beret, uh, Canadian Special Forces, and men in the field. And I said, this is what I'm building. What is it that you need? What, what, what has to be a part of the suit? The brass doesn't understand, and the politicians couldn't spell war, let alone comprehend what you guys got to go through. Right. So what is it you need? And they just broke it down and said, we need this, 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 and I incorporated it into the entire suit. I see. Now, would you mind taking off your helmet, Troy? Sure. It look like the guy who... <laughs> now, I want to buy step. We've already done the ballistic test. I already know it works. So I want to go to a Petawawa and say, okay, let's go. I'll wear the suit. Let's go. I'll sign whatever you want. Go ahead. Give me what you got. And I'll show you that our boys are going to walk out of these vehicles or walk out when a bicycle comes down and, and, and bang in front of you. I'm going to show you what this thing can do. Okay. Uh, uh, I've got a, uh, a ranger coming in a rack. Troy, we're dying out there. It's 120 degrees. It, it, it's, it, we're getting killed with the face, Troy. We've got, we've got nothing on our face. Well, you go full helm. It looks good, Troy, but 120 degrees, so what do I got to come up with? Well, now, now you're going to get high tech. I mean, now you've got an uh, intake fan and an exhaust fan that here's your power packs, all solar paneled, and when you turn these on, Oh yeah, can you, oh, yeah. Can you it's the beautiful. Oh, it's yeah. just it's so air conditioned, it's unreal. This was from a Ranger sniper. He said, "This is oh Troy, can you do this for us? When we get ambush situation and we get a sniper firing at us, yep. we're down in the prone position. We, we, the, the guy in the front can see the sniper." where he is. We're trying to signal back for somebody to take him out. Okay, it's this direction, it's this direction. Well, when you put the helmet on, I actually went to a eye doctor and it was completely done. The laser, uh, it's a laser you tracking have, system. You have a laser pointer on A laser this pointer on this. That's, that's, that's good. Centered that's perfectly centered. Yeah. And now, as you can see up there, just fantastic, yeah. where he looks at the, uh, the sniper, he's staring at the sniper. He just calls back. This has got a five-way activated voice system. Follow the dot and fire. The biggest thing with the Rangers that I talked to said, we're training hand to hand, Troy. You're a martial art expert, have been all your life. You know Troy at best. Even somebody as good as you is good for maybe two guys. I said, buddy, that, that's me when I was 20. They said, okay. Black Hawk down. Yeah. That was real, man. We got one soldier left. He's got, he's out of bullets. He's got 40 insurgents coming at him. What do we got, Troy? We got a bayonet. What are we good for? Two or three? Come on. You're the expert on bear spray. Give us something that can knock out 20, 30 people. This took some doing. So. I'll give you a demonstration. It's not bear spray. What are you okay. kidding me? I want to yeah. kill him. I built it into the right arm. Pop the safety seal. Everything has to be easy in the field. Easy. It can't, it can't be, you know, too difficult stuff like that. Pop the seal. Now, yes. he's got no bullets left. His 9 millimeters, M16, it's empty. Right. There's maybe one or two of them. They're waiting for a Blackhawk to come in or an Apache. They got insurgents all around them. Right. 30, 40 machetes, whatever they want. No problem at all. This is not the bear spray that peace officers use. This is not the bear spray Troy Hirschby's uses. This is illegal that's going to go in this. I learned the hard way that there's no bear spray that can stop a bear because all spray only has 1% odorous and capskin. And though that's great for a human being, it won't stop a bear. Want to stop a bear and drop 40 people instantly? Go 3%. And that's with this. So he would simply go into the prone position, yep. lift up his arm. There you go. Yep. That's nice spelling spray. Forgot about that. There you go. What time is it? <laughs> no. World clock. Clock. Are you looking at my clock? Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. 20 different countries. He's got it right there. Just looks down, there it is. Everything's just where, where it's got to be. Where it's got to be. There you go. 